A rediscovered segment of the Trail of Tears near the East Fork Recreation Area at the Forks of the Stone River in Smyrna is providing new insight into what thousands of Cherokee Indians experienced during a journey across Tennessee in 1838 when forced to migrate to Indian Territory in present-day Oklahoma. Now try to imagine you have been walking for almost two weeks now by the time you reach Jefferson at this point, if you're on the trail of tears, you'd already started to see people begin to pass away from exhaustion, dehydration, the cold, and disease. The president of the Native History Association led a tour of the newly marked trail for U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District employees and family members May 9, 2015. He provided interpretation along the route where it passes through Old Jefferson. He recounted the first time he stood on this stretch of the trail and realized he was the first person, the first Cherokee, to knowingly visit the path for the cause of preserving its history and recognizing its significance. The site itself means a tremendous amount to us as local Indian people because our ancestors are attached to this road you now and we still feel that sense of connection, very much so. And you can't sit and dwell on it, but you, you, but you have to stop and give reverence where reverence is due, you know, for the people who suffered and walked along this road, so. An archeologist for the Nashville District said marking the route is the first step in recognizing the historical significance of the area, but there is more that needs to be done for its preservation. We really need some sort of management plan to help us um, outline what we need to do, how we can manage it, how we can interpret it, because it's something that really needs to be shared with the public. The Nashville District Librarian, whose family is Chippewa, hiked nearly three miles in the heat, avoiding poison ivy and watching out for ticks. She said she couldn't imagine what the Cherokee went through walking long distances with little provisions, dealing with inclement weather and disease, and being forced to take an alternate route to avoid tolls. That's part of our nation's history, and it's a shameful part of our nation's history. But it's, you know, you, you, have to, you have to know about these things in order to, to keep them in your mind and to, to, to keep from hopefully repeating those, those types of events. The Native History Association identified the Trail of Tears segment on core land at Old Jefferson in 2012 when researching the routes using online mapping. Previously, it was thought that the area was inundated when the Corps impounded J. Percy Priest Dam in 1967. The location of the town and trail remained on dry ground, although few remnants exist today of the historic Riverport, Trading Post, and Early County Seat. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District from the Trail of Tears in Smyrna, Tennessee.